Greetings, my friends. Um, another day off the grid. Um, started having a raging toothache last night. Still kicking today. If you had a toothache, you know how bad they can be. Not worried about it. The devil wants to destroy me. He never will. Jesus has my back. He's in charge. I've warned you many, many times that uh, the future Antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama, has had secret labs all over Obama land, formerly America, and all over the world that have come from here that are creating human animal hybrids, Nephilim included. Well, now he's not trying to hide it. I guess now that it's getting towards the end of his so called last uh, term, he is openly now he passed a law, openly allows any labs, any people, anybody, anywhere to create human animal hybrids uh, with human animal genes alien genes fallen angel genes doesn't matter what it is and I guarantee you the fallen angels are behind this research they're behind this law Satan is Obama's father the father of all lies Obama is the president of the Liars Club and as a future Antichrist Satan is going to be his main kingpin and he is already right now and can you imagine can you imagine what this is going to open the floodgates to? The Bible says in the tribulation men's hearts will fail due to fear because of all the terrible things that are going on. It's going to be horrific. You can count on that. You can bank on it. Can you imagine the endless number of combinations of human animal hybrids that can come out of all this mess? Can you imagine how grotesque, how horrific this kind of stuff can be and will be? Can you imagine? It's right in front of our faces. Everything is right in front of our faces. Obama is wrecking the world. He rules the world by proxy right now. He'll rule the world with an iron fist soon enough. But right now, he's already the de facto go-to ruler of the entire planet. And this guy does what he wants to do, says what he wants to say, and dares anyone to say anything about it. Because he cannot be stopped. He will not be stopped. Period. Here's the bottom line. We're in the throes. We're in the we're in the last throes of the birth pains. You know, when a woman gives birth, she has birth pains, and the the more intense the pain that she has, the closer the pangs are, the closer she is to delivery. Same with the world right now. The more intense things are, the closer they happen, the closer we are to the delivery of the bride of Christ, the true bride of Christ, out of this place. And when seven years of pure hell starts in the tri tribulation, the great tribulation. God's going to just wreak havoc on this earth, and Satan's going to wreak havoc on this earth, and Obama and Pope Francis, the Antichrist and false prophet, respectively, wreak havoc on this earth. It's going to be horrific beyond anyone's wildest imagination. Wouldn't wish on anyone. It would wish on anyone. Jesus Christ is your only hope, my friends. Things are about to get beyond terrible, beyond hope, when the Holy Spirit leaves, except a tiny remnant of him. The true bride of Christ, things are going to be so bad that you'll wish you, when you're left behind, you'll wish you died. Too many of you won't be able to. Two thirds of humans will die, of course, grotesque, horrific, awful deaths. Many more would wish they could die and they couldn't. You will we, we wish you'd listen to people like me when I warned you to get ready before your time runs out. Jesus is your only hope, as I've always said. I've got a prayer in the box below the video, and I've got six vital next steps. Pray that prayer, do those steps as soon as possible, because no one is guaranteed even another day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, start doing it now. If you are, great. And look up. Our addiction draweth nigh. We fly soon. You guys take care of yourselves, and I want you to wake up, start smelling the coffee, start seeing what's happening, and start getting ready to go. Because if you're not ready, by default, you'll be left behind. And, and most of you are going to die. As I've said, it's going to be terrible. Don't even put yourself through that. Find Jesus today. Repent if you're backslidden today. Because at least 250 scripture in the Bible that I've found says you have to repent. Or you'll never step foot into heaven. You guys take care of yourselves.